Okay, 10 seconds. Here we go. What you got for us, Capcom? I'm hoping for, obviously, RE4 Remake, Village DLC, some news on RE first would be nice, and the next-gen updates for RE2, 3 Remakes, and 7. That's all I'm really interested in in this one. Or a surprise Dino Crisis remake drop, that would be nice. Unlikely though. And now we Ooh, have here a bunch we go. of updates from the Resident Evil franchise. Ooh, a bunch of updates. Nice. Hello everyone. I'm Tsuyoshi Kanda, the producer of Resident Evil Village. Thanks to all of our fans, Village has sold over six million units worldwide. Everyone on the team is incredibly happy to see so many people enjoy the game. It was a good game. Thank you for your support. The Resident Evil series continues to bring fun experiences to people around the world. We want longtime fans and people who are new to Resident Evil to enjoy this storied franchise. Let's start with this video. Please be at a decent frame rate. Is it the DLC? 16 years after he left. Oh, here we go. It's all right, Rose. It's all right. So it is a time skip. Oh god, the frame rate's atrocious. Hopefully, we'll get a a decent trailer, a decently run trailer after this. Even Chris doesn't know I can do. I want to live a normal life. Okay, so it's going to focus on Rose. Oh, back at the castle. Shut up! What's going on? Leave now. Go where you can. Oh, is that Eva? Oh, now we have a new little rabbit to pursue. <laughs> oh, Duke. Shadows of Rose. Oh, uh, so maybe there was a rumor that Duke was going to be like the fifth lord. New content coming to mercenaries. Oh, shit. We get to play as high some Oh yes! Additional orders. I like that. Okay. Alright. Ethan returns in third person mode. Okay. Gold edition, we kind of expected this. Oh, our reverse. 28th of August, uh, October rather. Sorry to keep you waiting. We're happy to reveal the DLC for Resident Evil Village we promised last June. We think this new experience will be worth the wait. This DLC includes three major features. First, the third person mode. Many people asked for this, and we were able to add it into the game. Now, you'll be able to see Ethan as he desperately fights for survival. Players that have already experienced Ethan's journey can enjoy the new perspective and animations too. The Mercenaries returns with additional orders in an arcade style action game where focus has been put on the exhilarating feeling of defeating relentless hordes of enemies. New stages are included, as well as additional playable characters such as Chris Redfield and Heisenberg. Of course, Lady Dimitrescu will be there too. We've really fueled this mode up. Okay, Enjoy looking nice. looking down on your foes from over nine feet above as Lady Dimitrescu slashes her enemies aside. <laughs> <laughs> the third edition is one you've surely been waiting for. An additional story, Shadows of Rose. Today, let me introduce just a bit of this story. Rose, the beloved daughter of the main protagonist, Ethan, is now a grown-up main character in this new story mode. 
In this sequel to the main story of Village, you can experience Rose's struggles with the terrifying powers she was born with. To break free of the curse of her powers, she enters the consciousness of the Mega Mycet. There, she meets a girl who looks just like her. In this mysterious realm of consciousness, time and space is warped beyond recognition. Rose is guided by a being who calls himself Michael, who might be of assistance with removing her powers. Shadows of Rose is set completely in a third-person perspective. In the realm of consciousness, you won't only face creatures, but the world itself seems to be attacking you. Enjoy the horror of the world itself being your greatest enemy. All right, interesting. How will Rose find freedom from her mysterious powers? The DLC for Resident Evil Village Winter's Expansion includes all three of these major additions. In addition, Resident Evil Village Gold Edition, a bundle of Winter's Expansion with the base game, will be released simultaneously. The release date is planned for October 28, 2022. Resident Evil RE-Verse will also begin service on the same date, October 28, 2022. We hope that you are looking forward to it. Okay, well, it's nice that we've got some news for our reverse. How did you like that? Also, as already announced, we are working on making the main story of Village available on Mac so that even more people can enjoy Resident Evil. In addition, the main story of Village is planned to be playable on PlayStation VR 2. We are working hard on bringing you the ultimate immersive experience worthy of next gen in Resident Evil Village. Nice. So look forward to future announcements. Up next, a game that was announced just a few days ago. RE4, here we go. All right, good. Taking so many of my boxes right now. We're gonna get a new trailer with gameplay or is it gonna be the same trailer again? Music's good. Gunder Wonderroost. I've located Baby Eagle. That looks like it's going to be the same trailer for now. To vacation, eh? You will receive our most sacred body. It begins now. Forget what happened that night. Oh, this is new. The pain. Hey, Leon. Even for a second. This time, it can be different. It has to. Yeah, RE2 model. We already guessed that. I hope you can show us a bit more than that. Hi, everyone. I'm Yasuhiro Anpo, director of Resident Evil 4. And I'm Yoshiaki Hirabayashi, producer of Resident Evil 4. This title is a reimagining of Resident Evil 4, based on the original 2005 release. Similar to other titles in the series, we are carefully preserving what makes the original title special, while updating it with modern flourishes for everyone to enjoy when it launches in 2023. Today, we'll reintroduce a bit of the game's story. 
Oh, cool, yes. Resident Evil oh. 4 is set six years after the events in Raccoon City, depicted in Resident Evil 2 and Resident Evil 3. The main character of the game, Leon S. Kennedy, survived the Raccoon City incident and was assigned as an agent directly under the President of the United States. Leon is dispatched to a quiet village in Europe as part of a mission to rescue the kidnapped daughter of the President. You might notice Leon is much more mature and fearless due to his past experiences. The Ganado, the main enemies of this game, wait for him. Oh, God, look at his eye. Of being attacked by hordes of crazed Ganado is truly an iconic moment from Resident Evil. True. In order to truly bring out the concept of terror of people controlled by madness, the Ganado have been completely redesigned. Let's take a closer look at the game itself. Yes, come on. Let's see some. The over the shoulder camera returns, of yes. course. Yes. Leon arrives at a dense and dangerous forest. Holy he shit. He nailed the feeling of loneliness and fear of not knowing what lies ahead. Look at it! more so than the original. Of course, there will also be thrilling battles. People that played the recent Resident Evil 2 and Resident Evil 3 should find this familiar. Wait, you can crouch or is that just to go through underneath the fence? Look to future announcements where we'll have more information on the game. Resident Evil 4 is being developed for PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X, Series S, and PC. The release date will be March 24th, 2023. We are aiming to create a Resident Evil 4 that everyone can enjoy, so please look forward to it. Thank you. Thank, Thank you so, so much. much. I was hoping to see a bit more, but it's something. What did you think about the latest information on Resident Evil Village and Resident Evil 4? Both games are currently in development. For those that can't wait for the release, check out the following games. Oh, here we go. Next-gen updates. I can't really see much of a difference because the frame rate sucks. Ah, uh, metamorphosis. Resident Evil 7, which brought the series back to its survival horror roots, and the reimagining of classic titles Resident Evil 2 and Resident Evil 3. These three titles, built with RE Engine, return with current gen features including support for 4K, high frame rate, and ray tracing, as well as 3D audio for an even more immersive experience. These titles are available for PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X and Series S beginning today. Yes! In addition, PlayStation 4 and Xbox One players can enjoy a free digital upgrade to current gen via the digital upgrade program and smart delivery. For PC users, an update patch will be available on the same date. For newcomers and veterans of survival horror alike, we hope you enjoyed the immersion these new versions offer. Welcome to the family. <laughs> That's all for today's announcements. Thank you. Okay, I pretty much got everything I wanted. That wraps up today's show. We hope you're as excited as we are about some of our upcoming games. Thank you to everyone, new and old fans alike, for tuning in. 
We look forward to sharing more updates with you soon. All right, well, hopefully there'll be some clearer versions of what we saw uploaded later. But for now, I got all I wanted out of this. Pretty much, yeah, actually I did. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to end this here. Starting, it's just finished. Anyway, I'm going to end this here and uh, I'll make a, a breakdown of what we saw. Hopefully if they upload some cleaner versions. Thank you for taking the time to watch this, guys. If you liked it, like, subscribe, ding that bell. I've been Sigma Later. This has been the Capcom Showcase and I'll catch you next time. Take care now.